Hi, this is Dr. Miller, and welcome to our EDU 671 course. Wanted to um, um, just kind of lay a little framework for you. Um, basically, um, when we think of research, we think, you know, we, we go on EBSCO or, or on the Internet or wherever the case may be, and we get some articles and things of that sort, and, and we find um, um, something that's close to our topic, and we try to, to usually, you know, back up our ideas in the articles we find and, and create an argument and write it and, you know, and resource it and everything. That's creating a research paper. That's fantastic. But this course is about creating a research, an action research project. It's a little bit different. So see, in the action research project, you already know that a problem exists. A problem exists in your, your workplace or some system that you work with or whatever the case may be, and you know that problem is there. It's, you, you're not doing research to identify the problem. You already know it's there. You're not doing research to identify why the problem exists. You don't care. It's already there. You're not doing research to see what aggravates or causes the problem. That's immaterial right now. The problem is there and you want to solve it. That's what action research is about. So after you know the problem is there, what you do, you have in your mind um, some way to solve the problem. Because usually action research takes into place that that's close to you. You're working in the system or you know you're connected to it in some way. So not only do you see and know that there's a problem, you have a pretty good idea how to change something to fix the problem. So those are the two things that already exist in action research. So what you do is you create an intervention or an action, right? Hence, action research. So you create that intervention and, 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 and you apply that intervention in a systematic and deliberate way so that you can collect some data quantitatively and qualitatively, which we'll talk more about as the class goes on. And you can collect that data, analyze it, and you can see whether your intervention or your idea or your action or whatever you want to call it is working to solve the problem. The problem that, you know, sparked the whole research project in the first place. So that's action research in a nutshell. Shell. So I'm trying. I'm saying that to you because um, what happens is when we do the literature review portion, a lot of students usually get confused and think that they're doing a traditional research paper. The literature review simply just uh, um, um, supports your ideas that you already know and think and want to do. The literature review is there so that you can um, get ideas on how to create surveys or see what other people have done um, to 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 guide your 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 research questions or focus you a little more on the idea that you already have. But keep in mind that action research is site specific. So what happens in your site, uh, someone can do the same exact research in their site and get some very different results and very different implications because it's site specific. It's indigenous to your site. So stay focused. I think you have a hope you have a better understanding of what action research is. You can always give me a call um, and, and we can talk about it a little further. But I'm, I'm way over my time. I only want to go two minutes. It's three minutes. So welcome to EDU 671. And hopefully I didn't scare you too much with my ugly mug. Thank you.